first three up there. I mean, di difficult evening and probably the, the scoreboard probably quite didn't reflect just uh, the opportunities you might have had within the game. But it, it balanced the emphasise overall. Yeah, it was really difficult. Um, the Limerick were, were really good for the victory, to be fair to them. Uh, really powerful outfit and, uh, do you know, we picked we picked a, a bad day really to lose our bit of consistency and uh, and our, and our uh, choices and decisions on the ball, but I think that was maybe mainly down to the pressure we were playing under two from that from from the way Limerick were uh, coming at us. So, you know, massive congratulations to Limerick. They're they're a, a really really good team, and uh, you know I think they would have been uh, a real test for any opposition today. Probably a frustrating afternoon in so far as not being able to get into the rhythm of the game, being so reliant on freeze and place balls that you were never really allowed to find anything close to the rhythm we've seen from you over the course of the championship. Yeah, that's 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 absolutely correct. Like it's you know Limerick bring such a game plan that there's so many options and so many fellas you have to keep an eye on and they're creating this overlap and I suppose when you're concentrating on them so much it's very hard to to implement your own game style. But you no, know, we came today to have a real court and um, in fairness to my lads, I have to really, you know, really say that they, they right to the end. I know the scoreboard wasn't pretty at the end, but I know that they gave it everything. Looking in at the line from them, they, they emptied their their stomachs to try and, you know, cling in there and do do the right things. And it, it wasn't from the want to try today. It's just that we met superior opposition. Yeah, just a, a last one for me. I, obviously, I know it might not feel it to players at the moment, but so much achieved this year in so far as what we've seen. From Waterford in previous years, that there, there are green shoots that can be taken from 2020, albeit they're probably not that evident to a dressing room of players right now. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a fairly raw, raw place down there at the moment now, to be fair. But yeah, look, we, we'd like to think that we've made great progression this year. But you know, the real test of us will be next year now to see how we can build on that and make sure that that, that our progression stays on, on an upward curve all the time. So. Um, and that's a job of work for me and, and the management team again now to get down to it early next year and make sure that we try and unearth a couple of new players again and start giving ourselves more options. And uh, I suppose really looking at our whole strength and conditioning side of it as well to make sure that we can you know, physically um, improve and, and be able to try and match, match the likes of Limerick and other counties out there that are so physical uh, in the modern game. So yeah, big, big job of work ahead. but a good year and a good experience for a lot of them players down there today. Liam, what was the nature of Tyg de Burka's injury? Obviously a big blow to lose him so early. Yeah, Tyg de Burka's injury, Tomas, I'm not sure. I, 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 my initial reaction would be that it's not good. So, um, you know, for a man that has tried, you know, unbelievably hard to get back into the shape he was in and hurling the way he was, having a cruciate knee ligament already last year and uh, I, I hope tomorrow, when, when we get in behind it, that it's not too drastic, but I, I would have my concerns. You created two big goal chances in the first half, Liam. Yeah. Jack Fagan, I think on two men, Stephen Bennett towards the end of the half. Yeah. Did one of those really have to go in if uh, you were yeah. going to lift yeah. the cup today? Yeah, we, need, we needed to score two to three goals today. We said that. We needed to. And like we, did, we created, and we had one or two half chances in the second half as well, playing, playing poorly and, and playing maybe without real... Uh, energy. The energy was kind of sapped out of us, but you know we needed them two goals to go in, and like I think Jack's flashed across the face of the goal, and Stevens was was uh, just a bit pressure came on and it was blocked. Like so, um, no, we needed to go. We need to be in 224, 225 territory today to, to counteract whatever points Limerick were going to put in the board, and the, the scoreboard, you know, told the story at the end when, when we hadn't given two or three goals to put beside the 19, 20 points we were going to be in trouble. What was the difference between the Limerick team we met today, Liam, and the Limerick team we met in the Munster final last month? Uh, I think they, they, they've well, not, not a lot really when you look in at it from, from the, their style and the way they went about their business but I just thought today they were even more aggressive and um, really really chasing everything and hunting everything and um, you know everything they touched today went over the bar and it did in the Munster final as well for long periods but when you're a good team and you have the composure Limerick have um, most of the time them chances go over the bar because of the, because of the, the quality they have and you know hats, hats, hats off to them well done you know you could have more freeze in terms of aggression. They seem determined not to let you get near the goal. Yeah, there was there was a couple of incidents there that you feel maybe would warrant um, um, a little bit more um, stricter punishment for for a couple of times we did break the tackle and get through. But you no, know, I thought I thought Fergal Horgan had a really good game today. To be fair to him, I thought he refereed the match really really well, and uh, and we have no complaints in that department. No. Is it something the GA need to look at, Liam, in a, in a wider sense, a bigger punishment, maybe when a forward is going through on goal and, and the defender brings him down? Is, is, is the yellow card harsh enough in, in your view? 
Well, I'd say today, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think, I, I know that we, we tied with the idea of the black card and, and the sin being there early in, in, in towards the early part of the year. And I wasn't maybe in favour of it, but uh, I think now, not just today, but I see throughout the, the course of our championship this year that I think it's something that has to be looked at. Okay. Liam, right. thanks for having us here. No problem. Thanks, 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 yeah. thanks, 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 folks. Um, yeah, no, thanks. 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 Th